I'm here with the masterpiece, Chris Masters. Chris, thank you very much for taking the time out of your day to do this interview with me. It's a pleasure being here in New Zealand. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> so is this your first time out to this part of the world? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I've been to Australia before, but never in New Zealand, okay. ever. When did you come to Australia last? Um, Besides this weekend, of course. Oh, uh, it was about a year and a half ago, Perth, Australia. Oh, yeah. Was that with WWE? Yes, it was a tour that consisted of, uh, we went to Bangkok, Thailand, Singapore, and then the last night was in Perth, Australia. Worked uh, the Nature Boy. Oh. Yeah, good match. Big match. Oh, yeah. Um, how's your schedule this time compared to being on a WWE tour? Um, it's been a lot more lax as far as with WWE, it's every day. You know, every day. Next town, next city, next country sometimes. With uh, this specific tour, and, um, you know, I was in Europe before this, actually. I've been tour on tour all month. Okay. But it's been great. But uh, I've had a lot more time to be able to see, uh, you know, about three extra days in Perth uh, outside of the show day. I had, uh, two, like, two extra days in Adelaide outside of the show day. In Sydney, I had one extra day. And, you know, like, in, that just doesn't happen with the... Uh, with uh, WWE schedule, so it's been cool. I've been able to get out in every place and, you know, see the nightlife and, you know, do some touristy stuff, go to the gym, everything, you know. So it's been, uh, it's it's a good schedule, you know. Even today I'll have some free time, so That's awesome. get my workout in. Yeah. Right. You started wrestling at such a young age. Um, when did you decide that you wanted to be a pro wrestler? Uh, when I turned 16, I wanted to, I decided, because it was basically the only thing I liked. Or, I, you know, the only thing I loved, for that matter. You know what I mean? I just read uh, wrestling magazines through set first and second period. And, uh, you know, eventually I just kind of figured uh, maybe this is what I should do. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yep. Um, in your career in WWE, you've been involved in some historic matches. You had the, um, the Elimination Chamber at New Year's Revolution. You've been in a Royal Rumble, mm -hmm. WrestleMania. Um, what, what's been your favorite match that you've had in your career? Uh, the, definitely the one with, uh, the one with WrestleMania was cool, but, um, you know, getting to work with Shawn Michaels was really, uh, cool. Like, that being my first, you know, kind of, uh, um, program or feud, yeah. I grew up watching that guy, you know what I mean? Like, uh, he was actually the first guy I ever watched, uh, when I was a kid, and, uh, is as far as, you know, um, getting me into pro wrestling was the ultimate warrior, unfortunately. <laughs> but, you know, after he had uh, come and gone, come and gone, and then finally eventually left, you know, I uh, started appreciating Shawn Michaels' work as a heel and, uh, you know, followed him throughout, you know, basically, you know, all the way up into my teens until, uh, you know, I eventually got into the business myself. So, you know, it was very fulfilling uh, working him, Rick, all those guys before they retire, you know what I mean? Because, yeah. you know, some people will never get to say they got to work you know, the person that they grew up emulating or grew up, you know, you know, putting on that pedestal. Definitely. All right, so talking to Chris Masters, the fan, for a moment, what's yeah. your favorite match that you've seen? Oh, wow, I'm a big fan of that match. I just saw, you know, I didn't watch the WrestleMania this, this past year. I haven't watched wrestling, you know, pretty much since almost I left, really, but... Uh, I did stop to watch the Sean uh, Taker match uh, with uh, one of my friends' place, and it was amazing. I just got to say, it's just, you know, I can't really get past that one right now. Those guys did a hell of a job. I've read on your website that um, you appeared in some television commercials as a child, mm -hmm. and also in um, Beauty and the Beast on TV. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, with the success that Dwayne Johnson and John Cena have had in the acting world, have you considered moving back into acting at all? Uh, yeah, but I mean, not serious, you know. I mean, I live in L.A., and I'm sure the opportunity, you know, if the opportunity was there, if it's ever there, I'm sure it'll present itself. But, you know, I just, I don't know. I, I, you know, I stay focused kind of on one thing at a time, and I still don't feel like I'm done with wrestling. I mean, you know, I can try to do some acting on the side, but I wouldn't really feel, uh, uh, what's, what am I looking for? I wouldn't, I wouldn't get the, the, the uh, overall gratification and fulfillment of uh, what I'm doing right now is as far as just, you know, to continue wrestling and eventually go back to WWE for a uh, second time, knowing what I know now. So, uh, you know, I mean, that's just something for down the line. I don't really know. I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, so you just mentioned heading back to WWE for a second time. Yeah. It? Yeah. That's a goal of yours, definitely. Well, yeah. You got to figure, you know, I'm 26 years old. 
Yeah. You know, I broke in. I was on Raw when I was about tw or about 20 years old is when I debuted. So, uh, you know, my whole goal was to get in there as young as possible. But, you know, at the same time, I didn't have the maturity. And, you know, there's a lot of stuff that, uh, you know, a lot of responsibility I wasn't ready for. But, you know, hindsight's twenty twenty, And, you know, now, six years later, you know, I've really changed a lot as a person. So I think that uh, it would only benefit me to, you know, you know, put that as my uh, immediate goal, you know what I mean, within the not-too-distant future. Have you considered wrestling in TNA at all? I, you know, I just, I love to perform, so I mean, you know, I'm, I won't rule out anything, you know, in terms of TNA, WWE, anywhere. As of right now, I've really enjoyed, again, like I was telling you earlier, uh, booking myself out as an independent contractor. You know, I've, I look at life, you know, this life in terms of, you know, chapters and, you know, as far as a book, you know, and this is just, I never paid dues, I never worked indies, I went straight through the system, got signed, went to OVW, went to WWE. So, uh, you know, this is probably something that's going to be a useful tool for me down the line in terms of, uh, you know, just uh, humility, humbling, you know, and also at the same time just, uh, you know, giving me some time to, you know, see what the rest of the world has to offer in terms of pro wrestling. Um, since you left WWE, you've wrestled for Antonio Inoki's IGF in Japan, yeah. and most recently you've been over in Australia with the AWF. Yeah. Um, how do you find the different international crowds compare? What are the fans like? In Japan, they take it, you know, they sit there and uh, they're not as rowdy. Like, it's it's funny, they sit there and they really kind of watch it in terms of, uh, you know, they'll sit there with their arms folded across their lap watching and then, you know, the, once they see something, they, you know, they get into or the guys do something cool, you know, it's that, you know then they come up. They show some appreciation, and then they go back to their seated position with their hands folded. It's kind of interesting watching them, you know what I mean? They just look at it really like a sport, and they're not there, you know, really shouting names, and, you know, they're not as vulgar, I guess, as, uh, you know, some of the American and Australian crowds who, you know, see not as much the sporting side and more the entertainment side. Not that there's anything wrong with either one. You know what I mean? I find them both interesting. I guess I'm a little bit more used to the vulgar... Uh, you know, more of a vocal American, you know, style of wrestling fans. But uh, I don't know, they're all real interesting. You know, I've always loved going to Europe because, uh, you know, they get, you know, America gets it so much more than everybody else that when you go to places outside of America, you kind of see how much they get fired up. You know, they're a little more starved for it. So, uh, you know, like even Australia working the shows I did, I mean, you know, listen to those crowds where it was amazing. You know, they were just so fired up because, you know, they might not have seen wrestling in a year live. And, uh, you know, so I'll definitely say, you know, those are, you know, working outside the U.S. can be really fun. How do you get yourself in the right zone before a big match? Do you have any backstage rituals or things like that? Uh, at this point, now I just get warm. I mean, I, you know, I got some bands and, you know, like, uh, I never had any injuries till the last, or any serious injuries really, till the last year and a half. And in the last year and a half, I dislocated my elbow okay. in my last WWE match, actually. You know, it's going to be out four months. Uh, you know, coincidentally, I ended up just getting released around that time. But, and then most recently, I tore my pec on the right side. So, you know, now for me, it's just, you know, getting my, you know, working up a little sweat, getting warm, and, uh, you know, getting my joints loose, and, uh, you know, also in terms of uh, just going out there, just getting your breathing properly. A lot of people don't pay much attention to your breathing, but if you, uh, you know, if you inhale deep, exhale deep, it's a calming mechanism. And finally, what can fans expect to see from you this Thursday at NZWW Power Play 6? Oh, I don't really know necessarily. Uh, you, I think uh, it's definitely going to be a good show. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I've never been to New Zealand, so I think... Uh, I'm expecting good energy. I don't know. I, I hope it's good, and I hope the people are happy with, uh, you know, whatever I can uh, give them this Thursday, you know. I mean, uh, you know, I got the injury I got to attend to, but at the same time, I mean, I've worked uh, this whole tour, and everything's been, you know, feeling good. I'm starting to get some confidence back as far as uh, feeling like I can go out there and work a little bit. Well, I'm definitely looking forward to it. Um, that concludes this interview. So, yeah, thank you very much for your time. It was a pleasure talking to you.